Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video here. So today I want to go over something really cool that I just discovered myself uh, like a few hours ago and I was like, alright, I really gotta dig into this because, because what? Um, I wish I would have known this weeks ago, but this is going to make everybody's life a whole lot simpler. Um, some of you may know about it, I'm going to assume most of you probably don't because the downloads on it are still pretty minimal. Um, and this is going to be a feature from Overwolf. Now, if you don't know what Overwolf is, it's a third-party add-on. Um, it's, it's used for a lot of different games, Valorant, League of Legends, and now there's apps coming out for Diablo 4, right? So the app that we're going to look at today is going to be the Diablo 4 map. Now, there's a couple other ones, or one other one at least, and it's the Diablo 4 interactive map. I haven't had a chance to play with that, with that yet, obviously. Um, but this one here, the Diablo 4 map, we're just going to download this. Well, first let's get overwolf installed right so just download overwolf get that installed register your account or don't i don't know whatever um and then let's get diablo 4 map installed once you get the diablo 4 map installed um restart your game or launch your game and you're just gonna press f6 and that's gonna pull up this wonderful thing right here this is a map that's gonna have dang near everything on it um <laughs> like all the things so for instance your altars of Lilith they're all gonna be right here um, as you're looking at this map if you go say hey look you know I've discovered this one you know we're gonna right click it we're gonna right click this one. Oh man you know I've got all these in this zone right here I don't need to worry about them and then you know it just saves the next time you load and you don't have to you know go back and, and check them again uh, unless you reload it like I just did um, but even then still it is saved so it's going to remain there until you manually go back in and, you know, check on, oh, you know, a new character. I need to go find these and these and these. Or if you left click it, it will highlight it. It will, however, not give you a waypoint to that altar. Um, I read from one of the developers or in the Discord for the developer, at least, that um, maybe sometime in the future they'll look and see if there's a way to do a waypoint. Um, but as of right now, that is not implemented. Uh, some of the other cool features about this, uh, you can check your sellers and then you can go through and say, I've done this seller, I've done this seller, I've done this seller, I've done this seller. Um, or we can just go ahead and reset everything. If you want to play a new character, boom, everything's reset, including your altars of Lilith. Um, one of the other really cool features that I think a lot of people are going to get a lot of use out of just, at, you know, the altars of Lilith, obviously, right? So... You and your new season comes around and we have to find the new altars of Lilith again, which <clears throat> hopefully Blizzard's like, nah, all right, we're not going to make you do that again. But if they do, this is going to you know, simplify that quite drastically. Um, but the other one here, unfortunately, Helltide's not up right now, but we can still show you that if we go down and we select all the things for the Helltide, right? Let's say the next one pops up down here. Right, so it's going to show you not only where the mystery chests are um, and which ones are actually up at the time, but it's going to show you where all the other locations are. So, you know, hey, I want to go find the next the next mystery chest, right? So let's run down there. Boom, I got it. I've got some left over. What do I want next? Um, and when this is up, it'll actually show you what these chests are, whether it's... Um, chest armor, leggings, or leggards, whatever, rings, amulets, it'll tell you what is in those chests. Uh, you've got your high value targets, the stuff that's gonna drop a lot of, um, a lot of your gear, a lot of your, yeah. Th those are the things that you wanna go for, right? Um, the other cool thing is gonna be packs of mobs. So if you were to run over to this area right here, you'll see there's a pack of mobs there. And there's actually a pack there and there and there so when you're looking to farm real quick you're going to want to kind of follow the map over the high density areas and you're going to see what's where instead of just running around and trying to figure it out um, so then we can change that and we can show events on the map um, i've already tested this i've run around and there are actually events at the maps here 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 these are actual events they are there um, same with your side quests. I've completed most of the quests, so I haven't, you know, checked to see how once you complete this one, where's the next one. But um, campaign quests, everything, everything is here. 
um, it, it's all it's all right here for you to go through one of the other things that you can do that's pretty cool is you can make this transparent I've got a party invite it went away sorry um, but you can make this transparent um, let's say we want to go authors of Lilith there it is as we're running around it's gonna center where we're at and it's gonna show us oh hey there's an altar of Lilith statue right over here and there it is it matches up here here and up here right um, and you can also change the opacity here which is gonna say you know minimize the uh, intrusion to your vision I guess we could say so we can bring that back up there and we can turn the transparency off um, this right here I wish I would have known about it a long time ago but it's got a lot of really good built-in features into it we can turn on or off our held tide um, timer the trace lines of where we've been um, you know or we can just turn off the overlay and have it you know a little bitty mini map here now I did actually go ahead and subscribe to the uh, the developer on patreon because I think this is really cool and I think I'm gonna personally get a ton of use out of this um, so otherwise there is a little ad I think it's I don't remember if the ad popped up here or if it pops up here um, it's not it's not really intrusive it is kind of there like hey you know watch this ad to support me or uh, in the way a little bit but um, otherwise for what it is it's definitely worth it if you don't want to subscribe to the guy on patreon I have no idea who he is I'm not trying to push it just letting you know the options there um, but I, I really enjoy this and I think it's something that a lot of people can get a lot of use out of, especially if you're casual and you don't want to go back and forth. Um, you know, you tab out and you're like, oh, where's the next altar of Lilith? I need to mark it on my map here and run over. This is kind of cool because it's just F6 on, F6 off. Hey, you know, I need to run here. Where's the next one? F6. Okay, so it's going to be over there. Pull up the map. Let's look back. Once again, it's kind of over in that direction map out scroll down drop pin boom there you are to the next one um or you can even just leave the overlay on and follow it that way so there's a lot of options here and i think this is really cool and i definitely think it's going to be a game changer um there's so much to play with here it's just it's really cool um see all your different zones Let's see <laughs> actually i did I, I subscribed to this guy on patreon because this is uh this is really cool here um but yeah so you can you can change everything here zoom in and out lock and unlock the add on um tons of different features i would definitely suggest that you go check this out get it installed uh, it's going to be a huge benefit to you you know if you know if you're someone who's casual like my wife this would be a, a huge benefit to them um because she's not going to know you know where all the different chests are and the locations for the hell tides and you know she's playing and i'm not on she's you know now she doesn't have to tab out and look for it or she can just you know pull this up and, and and look directly so it simplifies quite a lot of things and um again i would definitely check this out i'll put all the links to everything including the developers discord if you have questions for him um i you know i have no affiliation to this dude at all i just think this is super cool so all right, y'all. Y'all have a good afternoon. Take care, and we'll see you on the next video.